Here is an exam style question on exponentials and Newton Raphson. The curve with the equation y equal 2 to the power x intersects a straight line with the equation y equal 3 minus 2x at the point p, whose x coordinate is alpha. Part A show that alpha is between 0 and 1. Please pause the video, have a go at part A and then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. We are told that y equal 2 to the power x intersects y equal 3 minus 2x at the point p. This implies that at p, 2 to the power x is equal to 3 minus 2x. The x coordinate of p is alpha. This in turn implies that x equal alpha is a solution of the equation 2 to the power x equal 3 minus 2x. This then implies that x equal alpha is a solution of, I can take everything to the left hand side, 2 to the power x plus 2x minus 3 equal to 0. Now I'm going to let f of x equal 2 to the power x plus 2x minus 3. I'm going to substitute x equals 0 into the function f of 0 is minus 2, which is less than 0. Now I'm going to substitute x equal 1 into the function f of 1 is equal to 1, which is more than 0. I need to write a conclusion. f of x changes sine and is continuous in the open interval 0 to 1. Hence, alpha has to be between 0 and 1. This completes part A of the exam style question. Let's have a look at part B. Starting with x equals 0 0.5, use the newton raphson method to find the value of alpha correct to three decimal places. Okay, the function f of x is equal to 2 to the power x plus 2x minus 3. I'm going to differentiate the function. f dash of x is equal to term by term differentiation. The first term differentiates to 2 to the power x ln 2. The second term differentiates to plus 2. And the third term differentiates to 0. Now the first approximation, x1, is 0 0.5. The newton raphson formula is given in the formula booklet. And it states that to work out the next approximation, xn plus 1, you take the previous approximation, subtract f of xn, the previous approximation, divide by f dash of xn, the previous approximation. So this is the newton raphson formula. Now I'm going to work out the second approximation, x2. To work out x2, I need to do x1 minus f of x1 divided by f dash of x1. So this is equal to 0 0.5, take away, substitute x1 into the original function. So I've got 2 to the power 0 0.5 plus 2 multiplied by 0 0.5 minus 3. All over, substitute x1 into the gradient function. 2 to the power 0 0.5 ln 2 plus 2. Okay, so I can put this into my calculator. Ladies and gents, I get x2 is equal to 0 0.696556 dot dot dot. Okay, now I'm going to move on and work out the third approximation. x3 is equal to, I need to apply the answer button. I'm going to be replacing the 0 0.5s with the answer button. So I've got answer, take away 2 to the power answer, plus two lots of answer, take away three, all over, two to the power answer, ln two, plus two. Okay, so using the answer button in my calculator, putting this into my calculator, I get that x3 is equal to 0 0.692155 dot dot dot. Now, if I look at this approximation here, to three decimal places, it rounds to 0 0.697. This one here, to three decimal places, rounds to 0 0.692. We don't have a consistency, so we have to continue in the approximation. I need to now work out x4, the fourth approximation. Because I've used the answer button once, now I can simply press equal repeatedly, yeah, to work out all the other approximations. So if I press equal in my calculator, I can work out x4 x4 is equal to 
0.6921533.. Okay, so this one here to three decimal places rounds to 0 0.692. This one here to three decimal places also rounds to 0 0.692. So there is a consistency there. However, to be certain, I'm going to work out another approximation. The fifth approximation, x5. Again, now I can press equal to work out x5. And if I do this, I get 0 0.6921533 dot dot dot. Okay, so that rounds to 0 0.692 to three decimal places. This also rounds to 0 0.692 to three decimal places. And ladies and gents, the fifth approximation also rounds to 0 0.692 to three decimal places. So I can stop there and I can conclude that the approximation of x which represents alpha okay so therefore x equal alpha is equal to 0 0.692 to three decimal places this completes part b of the exam style question and this teaching video if you found it useful please don't forget to subscribe leave a like leave a comment turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time i post a new teaching video